Today we're trying a special someone's favorite dishes at different price points. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We tried a lot of our crew's favorite foods at different price points, but someone in particular has been talking our ears off nonstop about how much they wanted a chance to highlight their favorites. <laughs> of course, now she's shy. It's time for Naked Foods, Naked Britney Edition. Naked. Surprisingly, not in the way you're probably thinking. Homies, today you'll be tasting some of Brittany's favorite dishes at low, mid, high, and fancy price points. Each round you'll pick your favorite, and by the end, we'll see how expensive your Brittany taste is. Mm. Some of the dishes even come from her favorite restaurants around town. And up you know first, this is white pizza. Oh, Brittany don't want to say it? Nope. <laughs> this is white pizza. Oh, yeah, I like a white pizza now. And of course, um, if you don't know, we first met Brittany um, on a special evening, Good Mythical Evening number one. Yeah, um, years ago. She featured very heavily into that episode. Um, she was a guest that night, and uh, when we tried to send her back where she came from, we were told we had to keep her because of the way we had treated her. So we welcomed her into the fold, and um, I shouldn't be, well, here's a fold. Brittany, you like folds? Um, She's pretty quiet. What has she been doing around here? Just sort of hanging out. What's your job here, Brittany? That's a pretty good pizza. Now, yeah, that's it's probably, I mean, I think it might be frozen. No, maybe it's not. I don't know. It, it might be cheap, but it tastes good. Well, there ain't no sauce. Uh, it's a white pizza. Uh huh. I, uh, I fold my pizza not because I went to New York one time and saw people doing it and wanted to be cool. Um, when you have a beard, it helps to fold a pizza out of habit. Just so to that get it in the hole? You get it in the hole the beard and keep hole? it out of the beard. First one was great, but this one oh, man. is garlickier, oh, man. saltier. It makes me realize that the first one wasn't great. That's a good piece of pizza. That's really good. This is a little piece of pizza with a lot of basil on it. Yeah, what, what, what are they trying to hide? The fact that there's no sauce, I'm gonna put that basil right on the end. Brittany had to get her eyes put back in her head. Yep. She also had to get, I didn't realize this, had to get her hip reset. Her hip was dislocated that right. night. It was, it was quite a night. And all we did was play shuffleboard with her. Right, who would've thought? Um, that's not bad, but it's certainly got a lot of basil on it. This one is not shy about having all types of green stuff. There's like a there's little bits of tomatoes which are not white. That's the only reason I'm removing them. And is there is there sausage on that or is that like I think that's ground up I don't believe garlic. they would do that. Woo! They're all pretty tasty. That is nice. Um that's got the like, what, what kind of cheese you call that? Ricotta. ricotta. It's huge, it's ricotta it's garlic. They're throwing a lot at it. There's a clear winner in my mind. Three, mm -hmm. two, one. Well, bam, me and you both. Oh, that's a good piece of pizza. It, it's, it's simple, you want your white pizza to stay simple, Brittany? Brittany! Yep, she agrees. You both chose the high price point prime pizza for $28. Okay. Um, the first one was frozen. It's our low price point, Newman's Own for $8. Oh, then third in, you have our mid price point, North End for $15. Mm. And finally, Brittany's favorite, the fancy option from Apollonia's Pizzeria for $37. It is a fancy pizza. It's just not what I'm looking for in a white pizza. Nope, nope. We're Sorry, Brittany. Just High than extravagant. Do we hurt your feelings, Brittany? You gotta start saying something if this bit's gonna continue, yeah, right? Brittany, this is getting old quick. This is salmon nigiri. This is salmon nigiri. Now how, how did we get 
to these dishes for Brittany. I mean, well, I heard Stevie, a little, I heard a little rumor. What's the What's the rumor? I heard a rumor that um, another Brittany, writer Brittany, mm-hmm, head writer Brittany, who is in charge of this episode, uh huh, um, and is probably not happy about the number of times that we say Brittany and we're talking about the sex doll. Oh, uh, and that's why we now have to say Brittany TSD. <laughs> Brittany, the sex doll, to make sure that it's not Brittany, head writer. Okay. So apparently Brittany, so, L- Brittany not TSD, <laughs> loves Sam and Nagiri. Is that right, Brittany? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, so basically, we're exploring some of your tastes here, but through a TSD. Yeah, by saying a uh, TSD, you just said a uh, the sex doll. <laughs> I didn't want to. It's kind of like saying yeah. NATM. Well, no, what is it? What is it? What, uh, no, um, an uh, automatic an AT- ATM, ATM machine. ATM oh, machine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the first one had um, it had white stripes in it. Does that make it more expensive or less expensive? I don't know. I don't know either because I never ordered this. It's tough. I mean. I'm proud of you just eating this without anything on it. Uh, I mean, I'm enjoying it, but not nearly as much as I would if there was some soy sauce or some wasabi. This at least has naked. has some sesame seeds on it. The second one is better. I was going to say not as good. Well, it's more tasteless. Have the third one because it's better than both the first and the second. Oh yeah, and it might be because it's got some sesame seeds on it, but also. The salmon is much better. It's easier to bite. I could bite the first salmon and the third salmon. I couldn't bite through the second salmon. It was kind of like oh. I've been sitting there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the last one of all. You're gonna. That's pretty fishy. You're gonna have to stop time with that one. Mm-hmm. I'm coming back for this one. Got to gnaw on it a little bit. Well, it's not the best, but it's. I, I'm not noticing too big of a difference. Between them. It might be because it's a little thinner sliced, but. Three, two, one. <laughs> I, I really like that one. I really like the third one. I think the first one was decent. Well, Link, you have chosen our fancy option, Nobu. Yeah. Nobu for $16 for two pieces. Just for that? Um, yep. Yup, and for our fancy situation today, okay. uh, we wanted to go a little bit on theme, um, so please get up and do the Fancy Pants lap dance. Oh, okay. Let me help you out with that. Don't worry, Brittany just got a little cheese on her mouth. I feel like I shouldn't watch this. I'm done. You can turn around. Ha ha! Got you. You enjoying this? You enjoying this pizza? Got a little on your lip, Brit. Brit. The second one in is our low price point from Sushi Stop for four seventy for two pieces. Sushi Stop. Of course, now, the third please. one is our mid price point. Sugarfish. Sugarfish. Oh, which is my favorite. Hey. There's $6. something about sugar fish. It's so good. What is it about the... Stevie loves sugar fish. It's, it's, it's also Brittany's favorite. There's some tenderness to that salmon that's kind of... It's so good. I don't know what All their fish there. is like that. You, you don't want to bite through fish and then like have it dangle or like not be able to bite through it. You want it to be right. biteable. Sugar fish is right. And then uh, finally, our high price point from Leona's Sushi House for $8 for two pieces. I didn't like that last one. I actually feel... Strangely validated that I chose the fanciest, you know? It's like, I feel like I, I intuitively knew something. You knew something, man. No, but you, you didn't. You should, go to, you should go to Nobu. I definitively like this one better than that one. I think mm. I think Sugarfish is better oh, than man. Nobu. It's also about being seen on the boo. <laughs> if you want to see the first Good Mythical Evening where we met Brittany, and had a lot of inebriated fun. Mm-hmm. It started a whole line of Good Mythical Evenings every year, but it's been kept under lock and key. You can't watch it, you haven't been able to see it unless you were there live, 
or for the video on demand. It was a short amount of time. But now, all these years later, we are making it available. It is available right now on the Mythical Society. Second and third degree members can watch the main show just for being a second and third degree member. And third degree members also get to watch the after show from Good Mythical Evening number one. Number one. Mythicalsociety.com. Visit it to stream now. This is Roasted Chicken. This is Roasted Chicken. And there's Looks a like we got a whole chicken link. So we got a thigh and a. I'm gonna, you know, I'm a breast man. I want a little. I'm gonna come around here and I almost stab myself in the face. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this thigh. And I like knowing, you know, the good test of a chicken place is how do they cook the breast and how do they season it. Mmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, mmm. That's a good piece of chicken. Woo. I really like to judge a chicken by the thigh. Now this one. And that's very good. I'm gonna save a little bit of that first one under there. This one almost looks like a pork chop. Yeah, they 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 butterflied it. Hmm. That's How is a it? well seasoned piece of chicken. A also little, a little drier, but still good. Really good. Hmm. I'm going for the same part of the thigh. You're going for the breast. So, oh. um, this one, this one doesn't seem... Doesn't seem as good. As good already. Just coming in. This kind of just seems like sure it might so. be ro a rotis from the Grosch. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of rub on it, though. That's it's a gross rotis. It's still great. I mean, I had one last night at home. Ain't nothing broke about it. Yeah. This one is super butterflied. Very interesting approach. You want to pull it over here? And Super take, butterfly. Take what you want. Is it? Have they made it boneless? I think they did. They made it boneless. That's a little bit more work. Oh, that's a jerk. That's a jerk. That's a jerk. Got a strong jerk sauce on it. Jerk rub, I should say. Okay. Which kind of throws me off a little bit. Yeah, not what I was expecting from a roast chicken. Going back to the first one here. Wow. Okay. Oh. All of these are good. Brittany, you've done a good... Oh, gosh, Brittany. <laughs> Got a little salmon on your face. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> she She's really enjoying that nigiri. You made a good choice um, with a roast chicken. It, seem, it seems a little vanilla, but, you know, a little basic, but we're wrong. We're wrong. I'm ready to vote. I wouldn't call Brittany basic. I don't know what model she is, actually. I'm having a really tough time, actually. <clears throat> all, th all three of these are good. Ugh! Yeah, a little bit of jerk. Three, Chicken. two, one. Coming, coming, back, back, coming, back, coming back into that one, nope. I actually liked it. I'm going right there. The first Wait. one is just magical. You have chosen the magical price point, slash the mid price point. Oh. Uh, Birdies for sixteen dollars. These are all half chicken prices. So Birdies. for half a chicken, it's sixteen dollars. Okay. Rhett, you've chosen our fancy option. You from did the Parkway Grill. A half chicken will cost you forty five dollars. Lap dance it up. Hey, Brittany, <laughs> you got a little salmon on your face. Let me help you with it. Okay. She doesn't have any ones. That I'm was sorry. the lap dance. <laughs> I got nervous when I got. You like close did to... the cha cha behind her. I... I just, I mean, the way she looks it, through your soul. Uh, okay, what? Maybe if what? I get fancy again, I'll improve. Well, I don't understand. This is, it's the arms are so they're like jelly, and the hands are like broken. Yeah. Yeah, I think we broke the hands. Ugh. What else is like jelly, Link? I don't know. I don't understand why all of all of her body needs to feel like pudding. <laughs> oh, I like a woman that feels like pudding. The third dish is our low price point from Walmart for two ninety eight for Not half bad. a chicken. 
And the last one is our high price point from the front yard for $29 for a half chicken. Hmm. But it's jerk, and they have to say that. You got to say that. These are peanut butter cookies. Ooh. These are peanut butter cookies. I like this choice, Brittany. Oh, it looks like Brittany's enjoying some chicken. <laughs> Yeah, just, I don't, just you know, if you gripping see, that she, drumstick. She's got a drumstick in her hand, if you can't tell. This is a hard little... This is a hard little cookie. I don't think we're coming back to this one, but it doesn't taste bad. It's got a good flavor. I do not like it at all. Look at how tall this is. What is happening? It's like a biscuit. It really is. Is that chocolate inside? Chocolate chip. Oh, man. Salt on top. Wow. I, I would think a Doughboy would really like this. I love it. It's dense. It's stupid good. This is almost so doughy that it's not a cookie. It's just like cookie dough that's been slightly, slightly baked. That is great. I might have to come back to that. Now, this one is what I expect. You've got like peanut butter chips inside of a supple and crumbly cookie. Mm. Arguably the best taste. It's the most peanut peanut buttery, for sure. They didn't hide behind any chocolate chips like that one does, and I don't approve of that. It's not a peanut butter cookie. It's a chocolate chip peanut butter cookie. Right. <laughs> this one this one's really good, and this one is huge. Ooh, it's doughy in the middle, too. They've done a good thing. Nice and greasy in there. Hmm. There's another flavor in there. Butterscotch? What is that? They've taken too many liberties. Hmm. It's like adding jerk to it and not saying anything. I'm gonna go back here. You're also going back there. I like the salt. All right. Brittany, any final words before we vote? Of course not. I've got a favorite cookie and a favorite peanut She's butter cookie. It's a TSD. Should I go with my favorite cookie in this bunch or my favorite peanut butter cookie? It's really up to you. I'm going to be a purist. Three, two. two, one. Ah! We agree! Okay, yeah, see, that's the trouble. See that right there? You don't have to do that. That's how I got you that one time. You don't, like, you don't have to. I'm, I'm holding it in place. Yeah, but that's how I got you the time, man. You don't like, look, it, there's not going anywhere. I'm not gonna do it. There's, there's no world in which I'm gonna knock it over. You don't have yeah. to hold it. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never gonna happen. Sorry for being here for you. Well, I don't want to hurt you. Yeah. Thank you for being here for me by asking me to not be there for you. Mm, like, you literally. have both chosen the mid price point option: insomnia cookies for two dollars and ninety five cents per cookie. So good. The first cookie is our low price point Pillsbury ready to bake for twenty cents per cookie. Bad. Then you have the fancy option, last crumb for eleven dollars and sixty cents. This is the best cookie up here, but it's a not the best twelve dollar cookie. cookie. And th so this is not a dessert at a at a restaurant. This is at a dessert at a dessert place, a bakery, a cookie place. Correct. Cookie, cookie. And then finally, the high price point uh, option from Beverly Hills Cookie for six dollars also happens to be Brittany's favorite. Brittany, it's not even peanut butter. There's some, something else in it. They're putting something else in there. What? What? What is that? It might you, be like cardamom. Do you know what it is? Uh, the website says spices. Yeah. <laughs> Loser and juice. You don't well, need those spices. Brittany likes it spicy. The lowest possible total combined today was fifteen eighty eight, and the highest was a hundred and nine dollars and sixty cents. Rhett, your perfect Brittany meal was eighty one dollars and ninety five cents, and Link, yours was sixty two dollars and ninety five cents. Still got out on the cheap, as I always do. Brittany, thank you so much for being a part of this. You're always so cooperative. You want to say one last word to make sure people go see you on Good Mythical Evening Number One. No, I guess people can just be self-motivated. That's Mythical Society. Remember that. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Lauren. And I'm Hunter. And we are about to go watch Good Mythical Evening. We just watched Good Mythical Evening. And now it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. They survived. They look pretty happy.
afterward. Click the top link to watch us learn Gen Alpha slang and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel mythicality is going. Second and third degree members of the Mythical Society watch the very first Good Mythical Evening on the Mythical Society right now.